okay so uh, in this uh, particular lecture i am going to brief you about the usage of uh, graph papers okay so uh, as mathematics students and as science students we do come across uh, a number of situations in which we have to make use of graphs or we have to draw graphs or we have to uh, you know plot a few things on the graph so all these things we are going to uh, be able to uh, you know understand much better if we uh, know the very basics of uh, the di different graph papers that are available so what i'm going to do here is first of all i'm going to show you uh, some of the uh, basic graph papers that uh, we usually come across okay so the first one uh, as you see uh, the more uh, prominent or the more popular one you can say is this graph okay now uh, i'll just zoom in so that you can see a few detailed uh, things over here you can see uh, there are small squares okay so uh, let's say for example if i want to show you uh, after a zooming a little bit more let's say for example this is the situation here now you see uh, you can see a number of uh, squares here so you can start from uh, let's say for example this uh, this square over here okay or uh, let's say for example let's start from here okay you can see that this is a small square over here and then subsequent to that you can see a number of squares square number one two three four five okay and then six seven eight nine ten so after every ten small squares that you see you can see that there is a dark line drawn okay then again you see one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. After 10 again you see there is a dark line. Same thing happens when you go vertically down also. Okay, So you can say that uh, uh, let's say uh, if I uh, choose to use a pen over here let's say for example I will just darken this particular portion. You can see from here up to let's say here and then I go vertically down and then I join this so essentially this is square that has come up you see this is square that has come up is a rather bigger square okay and it comprises of a number of smaller squares also you can see square number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay similarly when you go vertically down 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so essentially what i'm trying to tell you over here is that whenever you get such a graph paper and uh, mind you this is the graph paper that is usually uh, you know available in all uh, uh, the shops around you whenever you go to buy uh, a graph paper this is the one that you usually get okay and even in your practical files uh, physics practical files if you have a look at the back portion you will always find a, a you know four to five uh, uh, graph papers attached okay so that you can make use of it uh, as and when the experiment demands okay so what is the difference what is uh, what is this particular graph uh, 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 in what way is this particular graph different from uh, another graph let's say uh, this graph okay so you can see that there is a uh, visible difference now let me just uh, zoom this uh, back out so you can see i'll put them uh, alongside so you can see now uh, i'll just overlap this so you can see you see the basic idea over here is is that uh, you see when you have a look at the sides of these squares you see sizes of these squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in this green graph paper also you can see that a bigger square which is this square. Okay. This is also comprising of 10 different small squares horizontally also and 10 vertically also. Okay. So this is like you know. The only difference is that the size of this small square and the size of this small square in this pink uh, graph, they are different. Naturally, you can see that this is the larger size. The green one is the larger size. So now I'll tell you basically the size difference that is there. 
so if i uh, let's say have a look at this uh, graph paper this is the graph paper that you usually get in your uh, 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 the board examination and all so you can see it is very clearly mentioned here ruled in two millimeter squares okay now what are these squares that they are mentioning these squares are these small squares that they are mentioning okay so these are the smallest squares that are possible over here on this particular uh, graph paper okay so this is one square let me just uh, try and uh, let me just this uh, blacken this portion out or rather uh, uh, you know use a red pen to make this more uh, clearly visible so this is this uh, square that they are talking about now what is the meaning of this word ruled ruled in the sense that they uh, there are lines that have been drawn with the help of these lines both vertical lines as well as horizontal lines it is because of these uh, two lines that have been drawn continuously one after the other at some fixed interval that you get this graph paper okay so this has been ruled ruled means the lines have been drawn in two millimeter squares now these are the squares what is this two millimeter that they are talking about so let us use uh, a pen uh, uh, or rather a scale to uh, have a clear look at the size here so let's say for example i'm going to use it here in this red portion let me just zoom zoom this in so that you can see more clearly you see this now you see if i talk in terms of this red small square that i have darkened you can see that it is starting from here so this is like zero on the scale okay and then from here it starts this square is starts from here and ends here okay so starting point is zero on the scale what is this ending point it is two okay and this is millimeter scale okay so zero one millimeter two millimeter three four five six seven eight nine ten the moment you come across ten millimeter that obviously normally uh, according to the relationship it becomes one centimeter okay similarly one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten millimeter again so each 10 millimeter uh, makes makes it one centimeter so after one centimeter again after 10 small millimeters you are getting the next centimeter so it is two centimeters so you can say that if you count it in uh, this way you will say that this is zero zero this is one centimeter this is two centimeter this is three centimeter and so on and so forth okay but if you look at these smaller divisions over here or the smaller markings over here these are in millimeters so naturally you know one full centimeter comprises of 10 millimeters okay so that is how the idea is now coming back to our point what is this two millimeter square so two millimeter square is basically the length or the size or the length or the, the size of the uh, of the different sides okay so since it is a square naturally it has all sides equal so what is the length of each side you can see that it is two millimeter okay from here to here horizontally when we go it is two millimeters so naturally when we take uh, the vertical thing also you will still be able to see that it is you can see from zero this is the zero line this is one and this is two so this one square over here the smallest square which is visible on this green chart is having each side equal to two millimeter okay now let me replace this with the smaller graph over here okay and now let's see if the size of so let us uh, come back to the one that i had uh, uh, labeled over here now you see let's start uh, where it is very clearly visible so let's start uh, from or let's rather zoom this up a bit more so that we can yes now this is a much better looking idea here so you can see the reason why i'm not using this darkened one is because uh, this has a number of overlapping lines so let's use it from here okay so let me first darken a small uh, square you see this is that a small square that i'm talking about okay so you can see what is the length of the side what is the length from here to here this portion it is starting from zero here 
where is it ending is it ending at 2 mm no it is ending at 1 mm okay so the size of the smallest square on this pink graph paper is 1 mm horizontally and since it's a square naturally you would understand that uh, you know the vertically also you will have the same size of the side because this is a square so all uh, uh, sides of the square are equal so this is like one millimeter so if i write over here ruled in uh, now let me zoom this back out so if i write ruled in one millimeter squares will i be correct in writing this or not yes i'll be correct and naturally uh, you see reason why this is looking these uh, this is smaller squares are uh, looking much smaller in comparison to this green one is because naturally the green one uh, let me zoom this back out what was the ruling here the ruling was two millimeters so the sides of these small squares were two millimeters each whereas the side of this is one millimeter each so naturally it is going to be a smaller graph okay smaller square okay so uh, essentially the size is uh, the only difference uh, the way in which you use is quite familiar uh, quite similar so let me just uh, take up an example to help you uh, understand so let's say for example if you want to use this graph paper and uh, i want to plot some things here let's say for example let me draw the y axis so let's say that uh, we have this as the y axis and we have this as the x axis let's say this here is the x axis okay this here is the x axis so what we will do is this will be the origin this will be your x axis this will be your y axis naturally if you want the negative uh, y and negative x you will have to draw this in between so all that you are very familiar of familiar with so uh, let's say for example you use this graph paper and you are plotting uh, let's say uh, number of uh, number of students okay number of students are to be plotted on this x axis okay and the question is telling you that uh, you have to use a scale okay now what is that scale that you are going to use so let's say for example the scale to be used is uh, uh, let's say uh, two centimeter is equal to one student okay two centimeter is equal to one student on x-axis okay so supposing that you get an instruction in the question that you have to use a scale such that two centimeter every two centimeter on the graph paper is equal to one student only on the x-axis so let's have a look at the x-axis this is my x-axis what is plotted on the x-axis number of students are plotted on the x-axis so now look at the scale what is the scale it is talking about two centimeter being equal to one student so where is the two centimeter let us see when you use your scale and start to check from here you can see that naturally when you start from here this bigger block or the bigger square which is there this bigger square you can see this bigger square okay this bigger square what is the length of each of the sides of this square see each small square was having two millimeters length okay how many squares are there total 10 squares are there so 2 into 10 makes it 20 millimeter and 20 millimeter is nothing but 2 centimeter so uh, from the scale also directly you can have a look you see when you have a look here it is this this is square that i'm talking about from here to here this is the side of which square this bigger square okay so this bigger square okay so from here up to here what is the length in terms of centimeters you can see starting from zero here it is two centimeter this two centimeter okay so again from here up to here when you will go again you will have two centimeter more so from two next is four then again next will be six then again next will be eight so 
what is your scale telling you your scale is telling you let me go back to the scale the scale says that each 2 cm each 2 cm should be equal to one student so how am i going to start plotting from zero my 2 cm are ending here so this is my 2 cm so one student okay then again 2 cm two students then again two centimeter three students okay and so on and so forth okay but if you have to use the same scale on this graph this pink graph there will be a difference okay so let me just tell you this because naturally on this bigger or the larger graph paper you can immediately see that this these are this is having two millimeter small squares so therefore this big one becomes the length of this big square becomes two uh, uh, you know uh, two centimeter each okay so from here to here it is two centimeter but if you have a look at this from here to here is it two centimeters no it is going to be one centimeter so let me just zoom this back uh, to help you understand see I'm talking about now this square okay so let me just draw a line here so that I am going to try to draw the same thing here, show you the same thing but on a different sized graph paper. So let's suppose that this is your origin, this is your x axis, this is your y axis, scale is still the same. What was the scale? Scale was that 2 cm has to be one student on x axis. Okay. So where is your x axis? This is your x axis you have to plot what you have to plot number of students here okay so now you see this is your one big square here so can i write one student here no because my scale says each two centimeter has to be equal to one student so is this two centimeter no because the size of this graph is half of that of the green graph green graph so let us see here you can see here it is roughly yeah roughly not exactly maybe the line has not been drawn accurately but you can see from zero it is ending roughly at one okay so you can see that this is actually one centimeter only whereas your scale is saying that you have to plot one student on every two centimeters so where is that two centimeter actually going to be two centimeter is going to be here Okay, so you have to basically cover one, two. So the first student will come here. And then obviously after again, after passing two centimeters, this is one centimeter, another centimeter. So this becomes student number two. Then this becomes student number three. So this is the difference between, you can see the plottings. Uh, let me just uh, zoom this back out. So now when you compare these two, you will see the difference okay since this was a bigger square it already was measuring two centimeters therefore i have written immediately when this bigger square ends i have written one student but i have not written one student after the end of this small square because this is a smaller square this is half the size of this square this bigger square okay so that is why you have to draw you have to be just to be a little bit uh, more careful in terms of drawing so this is how you can uh, you know understand uh, the plotting on the graph